several major things have happened on the Barnuminium in just a few days. Our main men, Roberto and Hydor here doing, actually they're finishing up the stairs and touching up all the rest of the painting and they're fixing to start on the floors in the house. You know, we've completely forgot what the floors look like because we put that ram board down, that real thick cardboard paper down to protect the floors. The gutter guy just left and we have decided to much debate and contemplating and talking to him and me and Brooke talking and getting together and figuring it out. But we have decided to go with black gutters. Uh, and for several reasons, one, it's just gonna look better on stuff like this right here, right? I don't want white gutters on stuff like this. Plus our columns are dark brown. So I didn't want that bright white gutter on our column because to me it would just stand out real bad and cover up the columns so we're going to go with black gutters which also will give us a black kind of like fascia board across the front which i think will look really really good and the barnuminium the garage the mother-in-law suite all of it is just so white there's not much breakup we try to add as much stuff on here to break things up as we could so we decided to go with black gutters on the house another reason we decided to go with the black gutters is because the whites didn't match this is not a stark bright white color on this barnuminium this is called like polar white or glacier white and it's just not a super bright 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 white his gutters on the other hand the white is like stark white it's white white it would be bright white and it does got a high gloss finish to it so it just didn't look right he had some samples it just didn't look right with the house uh so we decided to go with the black gutter i think it's gonna look good there's a house down the road he did and we went and looked at it because it's a white and it's actually a farmhouse too and they went with black gutters and it actually looks pretty good. It kind of breaks everything up, gives us a contrast. So we're going with black gutters on the house and hopefully, hopefully we made the right decision. Plus we think the black will also pull out the trim color, which is the black around the windows, the black around the doors. Of course, we went with a dark stain for anything that was wood on the house. So we're hoping that the black gutters just all tile that in together and it breaks up a lot of the white. Hey, Mildred. Hey, baby girl. What you doing? Mm -hmm. Looking quite beautiful, yeah. But if you and Tilt were side by side, guess what? Y'all would look like our house and gutters, is what I'm thinking. Kind of give us an idea. Can you get, can you scoot a little closer, Tilt? Just a little bit closer. Let us get an idea of what our gutters and house gonna look like if you stand beside Mildred. No? Oh. Moody! Time to eat, buddy. Come on. Come on get you something. Don't turn into peaches now where I gotta come bring your food to you. Look here, I got your bucket ready. Come on, brother. Now, Moody, if our house was black and had white gutters, you would be a great example. Yeah. That's not the case, is it, buddy? Slow down, Turbo. All right, are you ready? Cause you know, I, we just did a house tour, what? Two videos ago? That haven't been that long ago. But are you ready for some changes? Cause it's been some crazy changes in this house in just a matter of days. Right off the bat, they got these stairs done and look how awesome it turned out just gorgeous they got to come back and put another coat on the white risers but all in all they turned out just gorgeous also they got the mantle done and finished here and you can see it turned out great and the whole fireplace looks wonderful now now we just got to get our mantle ordered and get it installed and the fireplace will be done but here is the key thing that has happened and it turned out awesome 
And that is, look at here. Can y'all see it? That, y'all, is the air conditioned duct. The air conditioned people came and we have AC in the house now. This was a uh, part of the scheme that I wanted. I wanted exposed air conditioned duct work. Uh, they suggested one of these, they called a duct sock. And I really liked the idea of it. But after we decided to go with it, I kind of worried a little bit about what it was gonna look like. But it looked really, really awesome. It turned out great. And now we have AC and we have been running the air condition up to the day and it works. Awesomely, Lee. Awesomely, Love that. That word. <laughs> it is awesome. Working great. Which we got cut off currently. And we got all the windows open because they've been staining. They've been clear coating today. The and they also been doing this. And it's kind of got a strong paint smell in here. That's why Brooke's not in there. She's real sensitive to that kind of stuff. But y'all look. Look what's no longer on the floor. No more RAM board. That's this cardboard that we had put down. They started on the floor and it's still wet, as you can see, it's still wet. Uh, but they got two coats put down of the clear coat sealer for the floor and it turned out awesome as well. And I'm just love the way the concrete floors look now. It looks so much better than the RAM board that we've been looking at for months, it seems like. It's just, you know, it's got sheetrock mud on it, it's got duct tape, it's brown, it's dirty, it's got paint on it, it's got all kinds of stuff on it. So to see our beautiful concrete floors now is just awesome. And I walk around to the side because it's starting to dry in the master. And uh, I'll go show you guys what that looks like as well. But before I, <clears throat> well, let me go show y'all. Then we'll come back in. I gotta show you guys something else on the inside too. We do have a mess out here on the porch because we're starting to move stuff out of the house out here and it looks like a showing of construction site. I did get started on the outside plugs. I got 90% of those put in, but let me show y'all the master bedroom and the master bath from outside. Now you guys can see it. It's a little bit still wet in here, but we went with a matte finish in here, like a semi-gloss finish. We didn't want the super high glossy finish on the floors. Uh, we just wanted the, the matte semi-gloss or eggshell type finish. And here is the master bedroom. And man, it turned out wonderful. Loving the way it looks. And to be honest, it's pretty, it's pretty dry. But I still see some pretty wet places in there. So we're gonna hold up before we get in there. Hey, Peaches, you ain't gonna believe this. We got air conditioning in the house now. See all this time when you used to live in the house and decided you don't wanna live in there no more. You know, I'm thinking now that was not a wise decision. You should have stayed in the house. Some of y'all don't know, Peaches used to live in the house. But as she got older, she had changed her mind and decided that she wanted to be an outside pig. Hey, we can put you a window unit in your portal hood. Y'all, I cannot believe this much has happened in a short period of time. It kind of felt like that, you know, things were dragging along. Now, I will say this, of course, I've mentioned it a lot, and I've mentioned it over the years that my entire family is electricians. My dad owns a electrical company, electrical business, and everybody's electricians in the family except me. So dad's been doing, his company's been doing electrical, but he's super busy and I totally get it. And he's just helping me out and I'm an hour away. So, you know, he's just been helping me out on the electrical. And they've been super busy this past week. So what I did was, is I just took matters into my own hands. Even though I'm not an electrician, I've just been around it my whole life. I used to have to work in the summers for dad from age 13 or maybe even younger. But I remember 13 when I wasn't even old enough. I had to go get a worker's permit to work all the way on up until 
I graduated, even, even after high school, I would help him on the weekends. So minor stuff I can do, switches, plugs, lights, fans, that kind of stuff I can handle. So I did finish up everything downstairs, as y'all saw in a couple of videos ago. I got all the lights put in. I got all the fans put in. The only thing I haven't done downstairs is I haven't hung the big chandelier up here yet that hangs down, but I think I'm gonna try that too. I also finished out all the electrical upstairs and the upstairs is completely finished. So I gotta grab a ladder because they got the stairs blocked. I'm gonna grab a ladder and show you guys what the upstairs looks like now. Y'all saw it in the last video, but now it is done. Trimmed out, completely painted, everything is done. Let me show y'all. I love this upstairs or the loft. Now, it is a little dusty because they have been sanding, but as you can see, I got all the electrical done up here. The plugs, there were some lights in the attic that I put in, lights on this side of the attic we put in so the attic won't be dark if we have to go in there. I got both ceiling fans hung and I got the bathroom lights done as well. But not only that, they came up here. You can see all the trim is in now. And they finished out the, uh, the well, we call it the table. But remember that was air conditioned ductwork that we're hiding. And it's still tacky, so we're not gonna mess with it. And of course, our beautiful bench back here that also it is still a little tacky, so we're not gonna mess with it right now. But then it turned out gorgeous. So the upstairs is completely finished, except for the mess I gotta clean up. Um, this is really almost all my mess up here from doing all the electrical yesterday. I was just telling Brooke and her mom that I can't believe that it's turning out like I had a picture in my head. You know, you have something in your head and you don't know if it's gonna turn out right or not, but it really, really has. And I recently had somebody come by that was a contractor. They came and looked at the place and they were like, oh my gracious, this place is absolutely gorgeous. And he said, we were really, really some brave people because who in the world would say, I wanna leave the ceilings completely open. I want you to see all the joists and the metal work and everything leave the spray foam exposed and let's paint it black. He said, that took some guts. <laughs> he said, but it looked absolutely amazing. And I'm so happy that it really is turning out like we had envisioned from the get go. So far, there's nothing that we would change whatsoever. It really, really, really is becoming our dream house. And I'm just super excited that we can finally, finally start to see the light at the end of the tunnel because it's starting to come together. Let's see if Miss Lewis is sitting and she is right there. Hey girl. Hey Miss Lewis. What are you doing? All right, I'm gonna let you alone. I'll just come check on you. See how you's doing. All right, maybe in two weeks we'll have some more pea chick babies running around. You and, you and Ozilla can carpool and stuff, you know? All right, I'll let you get to sitting. All right, now let me take you over here and tell y'all what me and Rook are about to do in the alleyway in between both houses, right where the breezeway is. Uh, we got some uh, stuff that uh, we wanna do there. I'm gonna show you guys. As y'all can see, we had Mr. Greg drop us off a load of pea gravel. And we're gonna use this pea gravel a lot back here in the back area because this is where our potage or our kitchen garden is gonna go. And this is gonna be the pathways in between the raised beds and the garden space back here in the back. So we had the idea of putting the pea gravel in that breezeway area in between both houses because 
super low maintenance it looks really really good and that place is shady so we don't know if we can get grass over there and cutting grass in between those two areas would really be a pain and have to worry about slinging something and hitting a window or something like that so we decided to use this pea gravel which is going to be awesome because it'll just flow right on in to the potage garden back here in the back so this is going to work out really 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 well and I don't ever have to worry about it really. It's not ever gonna go anywhere. I don't have to worry about fertilizing. I don't have to worry about cutting it. So it's gonna be super low maintenance. And that's what I like. So I can spend more time in the garden and playing with the animals. Then once we get through with this, Brooke had an awesome idea. And she said, let's take our old antique cast iron urn that has our guacamole hosta in it that we brought over from Little Cog. Let's take that bring that because it's been over there by Brooke's mom's house in the shade bring that over here and let's put it in that alleyway and then it would just be perfect for there because it's a semi sun over there and mostly shade I believe and I think it's gonna thrive right there and we'll just watch it if not then we can swap it out for something else but I think it's gonna do well right there and kind of make it look like a little courtyard area I really do so Boop's crawling to go get the tractor now. We're fixing to get started. I'm getting this rock spread out in that alleyway and let's go grab that hosta. Hey girl, did you go see the alleyway over here? The new courtyard? The Cog Hill Courtyard, can we call it that? Come on, let's go show the folks. How awesome did it turn out, right? Isn't it gorgeous? It looks like a little courtyard area. I love it, loving it, loving it, loving it. It looks really, really good. Now my hosta, She's been through a rough period here of lack of rain, drought, just hasn't been baby like she once was, but we're gonna get her back up to her former glory. Yes, we are, girl. But I love the way it looks and the way it turned out. I really do. Really gives it that little cozy, homey feeling and a courtyard feel to it. And see, this will just take us right on in, right here, into the protege garden. We're wanting to get uh, uh, some type of gate here. We know that. We're also gonna put a fence in area around here for the puppies. So the puppies will have somewhere to go outside. Oh, it's just turning out wonderful. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. The boys got why they like to come up here and eat. I don't know why. That mountain goat's coming out in them. Come on, boys. There you go. Like genuine mountain goats right here on Cog Hill. Whatever floats the boat and makes them happy, right? They want to eat up there, we'll feed them up there. <laughs> All right, what a way to end the day. What a way to end the day by going to the Flying Peach. That's right. <laughs> they're gonna close for the year. That's right, they're seasonal. They're seasonal, so they're gonna close for the year. I think two more weeks. So we gotta uh, get it before the getting's good. I know it. Before it's getting's gone. Before the getting's gone. That's right. The crisp barbecue in Alabama.